A report from the CSO has found that Irish workers are earning more than they ever have. But their stress levels in another EU study in terms of workers' conditions have shown an increase in stress levels from 8% in 2010, doubling up to 17% in 2015. Uh, and that's even amongst the people who don't have to work with you. Well, I mean, I have to say, Rose, I'll come to you first on this. Yeah. I mean, like, we know people want jobs, but they don't want work. Uh, there's no work ethic amongst the millennials. Is this not just more the pathetic snowflake whinging and cribbing and complaining? Not at all, I, but I think what it's based on is the fact that people are, yes, in some cases they're getting paid more, but it's going in one hand, one in one pocket and out the other pocket. No, they're talking about emotional well, stress, working a 40-hour week, but, but they you can't see, stick but, it. But you see, you can't separate the two. So you have, you have somebody starting off their journey. People cannot live near to their work anymore because of housing prices, because they can't afford to live near to there. You have other people on precarious uh, working hours and working conditions. So they're the same so as previous that, generations all that what? amounts to stress, not the way it is now, because I think yes. even since, no, since the recession was used as an excuse, I think, to, to erode workers' rights, and particularly in terms of zero contract hours and all that. So you have all these pressures. Somebody getting up in the morning to drop their kids off to school, may not see them until it's dark again. So that was Celtic evening, Tiger working stories. All, that working we kept all of the hours that God sent. The big for SUV hours, com coming up to the school no, door. No, 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 commuting for hours every day. That is the reality for people living in Ireland.